Hi, I'm Bustin' Bill. And I'm Pistol Pete. And we're the Western Physics Warriors. We are here today at the Purple Parlor. First rule of the day is safety. Second rule, try not to get shot. So in the movie we saw a bad guy get blown across the alleyway, uh, so we're going to see if that's possible. It's an inelastic collision with these bullets sticking in his body, so using conservation of momentum, uh, we know that the man is only going to change velocity by 0.24 meters per second, less than half a mile per hour. So he's not going to get thrust across the wall, through across the alleyway, let's test it. Here we are, behind the purple parlor in the heat of a gunfight. There seems to be a little bit of a lull, so what's gonna happen in this scene, like you saw in the movie, I'm gonna be placed inside the, inside the shed, waiting with my shotgun, and when bad guy walks across this wall, I'm gonna take the shot to make the kill. This town ain't big enough for the both of us! <laughs> so obviously the results were much less impressive in real life than they were in the movie. The blast through the wall is significantly smaller as you can see and not only did the beam that weighs supposedly about as much as our, our bad guy, not only did it not fly across the alley but it didn't even tip over which is exactly as we suspected because of Newton's third law. For every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. This shotgun didn't blast me on the ground, and it's certainly not going to blast him on the ground. And Pete, I thought that beam was going down for sure. Yeah, me too. It sure didn't end up like we thought it was going to. Well, I guess that's case closed, huh? I guess so. I'm Pistol Pete. And I'm Bustin' Bill. Now for part two. You fear. gunshot from bad guy sniper 
to good guy walking on the ground has got a steel plate on his chest. Ultimately, we want to know if the bullet will actually penetrate the steel plate. But first, we've got to calculate and find out how far away the sniper is from the target. Okay, so right here we have the basic outline of the basic plot of what's going on. Um, right here, the main main thing that we wanted to know was what's the angle from the what's the angle and distance from the sniper to the to the target. So what we had to do, we created our triangle using the angle of the sniper's gun. We found it to be 31 degrees. So this is the angles that we created based on where the viewer was at. We needed to find out. We knew that it was 0.39 seconds from when she heard the gunshot to when she saw it when, while she was seeing it. So we used the Doppler effect at the temperatures in the high altitude to calculate her distance to be 129, and then we used that to calculate the distance and acceleration of the bullet. So we used the distance equation, which is distance equals the initial velocity times time plus half of the, of the acceleration times times squared. And then we also use the acceleration equation, which is the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time which we got 396 meters per second minus 833 meters per second. These values came from a known source online. And uh, our elapsed time, which was 1.5 seconds, um, and we ended up with about negative 291 meters per second. And then we plug the 0.39 seconds into our distance equation along with 833 meters per second plus 1 half times the acceleration times times squared, which gave us the total distance, which is about 300 meters. So we, use, or we find the distance so we could use Young's modulus to see if the bullet would penetrate the steel plate on the emphasis of the rest of the cavity, which we found that the force at 300 meters is 1970 newtons, so we can plug that into the modulus, we use the variable W instead of the variable L for width. So in conclusion, the change in width is far less than the original width of the steel, so we believe that the bullet will not penetrate the steel plate. Might as well go test it. Here we are out at 2000 Flushes for the reenactment of the snowy sniper scene from the movie Shooter. I will be playing the bad sniper, and he will be playing Agent Nick Memphis, who I am going to shoot. I think it's big enough. I think it'll work. Are you sure you don't want to take a, a practice shot or something? Uh, no. We should be good. Just don't turn to your side or and just keep walking straight. And we should be fine. I hope our calculations were right. Me too. That gun pistol, Pete, that's some good shooting. Thanks, man. I mean, it takes years of practice, you know. Well, looks like it paid off. As you know, we didn't expect any penetration of the steel, but on both shots, we had full penetration with deformation of the steel. What do you think, Pistol Pete? Well, looks like it's time to go back to the drawing board. So, the results of our trial contradicted what we, we found with the equations. Went to the drawing board, we spent hours working stress versus strain equations, trying to incorporate density of steel and, and copper and lead. And basically, we can't, we, we need to incorporate the equations for deformation of steel. That's beyond the scope of this class, so we are not even gonna bother you guys with it. But we know that Nick Memphis would have been dead. Sorry, you want to introduce yourself? No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the both of us.